welcome to today's video where I will be covering the LCS week three power rankings um, or otherwise known as my power rankings for uh, I'm filming this the January 28th but January 27th I think it might change the way I'm titling these videos because the LCS kind of screwed it up given that they don't play on the same weeks as everyone else so saying week three isn't the same for everybody but January 28th is the same for everybody it's the same date um, so that's how I might do this from now on Nevertheless, I do this for all four major regions, 10 through 1. I rank the teams, go over their last week, why I have them there. Um, obviously, with the lock-in and multiple teams not running their full lineups, it's hard to read how each team actually is. There isn't a lot of movement in this week, and I will go over why that is. So, I mean, this video will indicate a lot of why things are the way they are. So, um, right now, 10th place... Tenth place, I have IMT. So IMT is disappointing as hell. They're last place right now because of that disappointment. Um, you're running your full lineup and you suck. I mean, that's not even. That's how nice I can put it. They lost it to Liquid. I mean, you lost to Liquid. I'm not gonna say that that uh, uh, awful thing. You know, like Liquid's a top team, but they're not running a full roster every game. Um, you are. You should not be doing as bad as they are this whole entire tournament. They've been awful. I've been very disappointed with them and my ninth place team. So this kind of just rolls right into the next one. Um, FlyQuest. What, like, both teams are running full lineups, and they are not competitive. Like, you both lost to Liquid, but throughout this whole thing, like, FlyQuest, I give them credit. They beat 100 Thieves once. But outside of that, they did not really show up in this tournament. Um, IMT definitely didn't. But FlyQuest didn't give me anything to be happy about or inspired by coming into the split. Who knows what they're going to really give us. Eighth place, at least this team's running an academy roster and giving me something to watch that makes me kind of like, oh, well, that's nice. I mean, shoot. Golden Guardians, they beat TSM, lost to um, DLG maybe, they lost to somebody, nevertheless, they beat TSM, they are, um, it should actually be here who they lost to maybe, Dig, maybe they lost to Dig, nope. E no, 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 no. I think Golden Guardians. Oh, well, Golden Guardians lost to EG. Losing to EG, not a big deal um, for Golden Guardians. They're running an academy roster. Evil Genius is running their real roster. So that's not an embarrassment. Beating TSM is a big deal. TSM's running their academy roster. Golden Guardians is as well. And Golden Guardians is able to compete with them and beat them. So, frankly, you're getting wins. You guys aren't. And you have your real roster. I mean, I don't know what to say. I, I Golden Guardians... I mean, these three teams are definitely not playoff worthy to start the spring split. I'll tell you that much. Um, seventh place. And I had a tough time putting these guys here. You know, I think they're giving us something to think about this year. Right now, CLG beat um, Dignitas, lost to C9. Uh, Dignitas looked good this past weekend. It makes that win against them even better. Losing to C9 when C9 is running a partial academy roster. Kind of problematic when you're running your real roster. But they did beat Dig, who's running a real roster as well. Unlike these two. So, the bot lane still gets kills. We'll see how the Lulu ban does. I mean, the Lulu nerf treats them. Because Poom plays Lulu a lot. We'll see, you know, how that affects him in patch 12.2. But as of right now, I have them where they are. I think they took a game off of C9. Which is a big deal. I mean, they are not um, they are not like these these two where I think that they're going to be an easy pushover in games. Like that bot lane is doing some serious work for CLG. Sixth place, I. This is kind of. It's not fair to them to do this. I should have them higher, but Dignitas I have here. Um, beat a hundred thieves. 
So they moved on in the tournament. But they lost to CLG and EG before that. So I'm kind of, I'm torn. You beat 100 Thieves in a best of three, 2-0. Impressive, especially out of Dignitas. River looks okay. We'll see how he does over time with the new team. Um, I like Blue. I think Blue is giving them quite a lot of pizzazz in the mid lane with Zoe when he plays them. I think that it's going to force teams to actually ban champions out of Blue's champion pool. I'm excited to see how high this team can go. But losing to CLG and um, EG is problematic. I mean, CLG's on your level, but I, I want this team to be better than this team. I think this team should be way better than this team. I do. I think they should. So, I mean, we'll see over time if they can get higher up in here. But beating 100 Thieves, who knows how they do today? Maybe they move up even higher. They take a game off of... I mean, they... they um, give the team they're playing. I, I honestly don't even know the schedule today. Um, they give whoever they're playing a run for their money and make it a five-game series. Now, all of a sudden, I'm thinking to myself, well, maybe they're better than the fifth-place team. I mean, it's hard to tell. It's hard to tell because TSM is not running anybody. c 9s running some of their real roster. Golden Guardians isn't running anybody else either. But TSM, not running anybody. Lost to Golden Guardians. I don't know what the hell to do with TSM. Their players finally showed up. They're um, two kids from China that they're going to play. We'll see how they do with real their real team come week one. That's really all I can say about them. And that's why I can't move these guys below them. 100 Thieves. We don't know if 100 what TSM's real roster is going to look like um, when they play. Just don't know. There, in theory, this team is could be up here. I could see it. But I could also see this team being here. So right now, they're here. Hard Thieves, lost to these guys. Disappointment. I mean, a lot of people are... are um, I mean, they're being kind of hyperbolic about it. I'm disappointed, too. I would be embarrassed if I'm a Hard Thieves. I think I said that last week when they lost to FlyQuest to begin with. Um, but it is the lock-in. We'll see how they do in the real tournament. When it comes to spring split starting. Um, but as of right now, I mean, I, I I can't have them below TSM. I just can't. And I can't put them below Dig when Dig lost to CLG. I mean, it, 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 it's, a, it's a mess. Third place, I didn't move these guys. I mean, I want to. But they're the only team running a full roster out of the top three. Um, so they're still there. They took care of business against Dignitas and Golden Guardians. I mean, we'll see how they do this week. Um, see if they keep it going. I, I, I think they are maybe the best team in North America. I think they could be number one. I think they could beat the other two teams. They also could lose to the other two teams. But I, I think I really like what I see. I like Inspired a lot. I say it every week. I like what they've got. I like the addition of Vulcan, Impact. The mid lane is the problem. We'll see how far Jojo Poon can take them long term. Second place, Liquid. Um, Liquid is what it is. I mean, they played their academy top laner to be able to play their real bot lane. They won. They swap out guys. They win. They keep winning. Um, they beat IMT and FlyQuest. I mean, you should take out the trash. So... We'll see how they do going forward when they play in the, this weekend, when they continue in the tournament. I mean, until it's unfortunate that they can't run their full roster, so we don't know if they're better than these guys. I mean, I think they are, but I'd like to see it in action. Um, in first place, first place C9, beat CLG, lost to 100 Thieves. I mean, sure, they might have beaten these guys, and that's why I didn't, like, but it's an academy roster somewhat. I don't know what to do about that. I'm more certain about this area here because we know that, like, this part is more clear-cut than this. I don't, we don't really know. I mean, I'm going to say I think C9 right now is the best team. Um, they did lose a game to CLG. But I think they are the best team when they get their full lineup. We'll see how Berserker looks. We'll see how Winsome looks. Um, obviously, we'll see how Summit looks. But 
like liquid. Liquid is a, we know what liquid it like is gonna be maximum. Like we know they are a worlds team. They are gonna go to worlds. If they don't go to worlds, I mean, what a embarrassment it would be for them not to go to worlds with the roster they have. So they're definitely a top three team. And Evil Genius says, I don't know if they're better than these guys or not because they're running their full roster. These guys aren't. Where this bottom six area here, like we know this team's disappointing us. This team we have no clue about. This team is the one that could surprise people and move up to here or there. These guys maybe can move up to here. These three are where they are. We don't know a lot about them, but they are interesting. They beat these guys. So, I mean, I'm trying to work through it in my head with you. Just kind of give you an idea of how I am thinking about this. I mean, I don't know how you're thinking about this personally, but that's how I'm thinking about it. So, get forward. looking forward to this week's matches to get a better idea of what's going on and then finally get the real season started so we can see what tsm looks like and tl and c9 and things of that nature so thank you for watching my lcs week three power rankings for january 28th um like and subscribe if you enjoy this content i do it for all four major regions i have those videos up in previous days for those games i mean those regions so if you want to see the lec lck lpl it's on my channel uh, like I said, thank you for watching and come back for more content.